काफी सदस्यों ने सत्ताधारी दल के और विपक्ष के दोनों ओर के सदस्य ने चर्चा की मांग की है मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूँ द प्रोसीडिंग स्टॉल इन द पार्लियामेंट फॉर द फोर्थ डे ओवर द मणिपुर शो The opposition is demanding Prime Minister Modi's statement, while the government remains firm that the Home Minister speaks on it. I am ready for discussion. I am not sure that the opposition wants to discuss it. I am not sure that the opposition wants to discuss it. I am not sure that the opposition wants to discuss it. I am not sure that the opposition wants to discuss it. I am not sure that the opposition wants to discuss it. I am not sure that the opposition wants to discuss it. It seems that the only person who is not ready for a discussion, or the only person who is not willing to speak inside the parliament, is the prime minister. Pradhan Mantri ji ki bhi koi jimmedari banti hai, desh ke Pradhan Mantri ji. Aaye mein dikhat kya? Unka badapan jo hai, aur bad jayega. Bade neta hai, vishwa ke neta hai. Ab aaye, ten minute baat kari. Opposition's MP camped at the Parliament overnight in protest. Both the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha were adjourned amid the commotion. After protest in Rajya Sabha, Aam Aadmi Party's Sanjay Singh has been suspended from Rajya Sabha for monsoon session. हमारी एक ही मांग है भारत के प्रधानमंत्री से कि उनको मणिपुर की हिंसा पे जवाब देना होगा. Prime Minister Modi hit out of the opposition, calling them directionless. The Parliament log jam comes against the backdrop of widespread violence in Manipur. Since May, Manipur has seen ethnic clashes between the Meite and the Kuki tribe over the Meite's demand for ST status. Meite's account for 53% of Manipur's population. Nagas and Kuki constitute another 40. A video of two women being paraded by a mob of men has sparked nationwide outrage. The Manipur police has so far arrested seven people in connection with the incident. More than 160 people have lost their lives. Many have been injured. Several were injured since the ethnic violence broke out in the state. Meanwhile the Manipur government has sought a detailed report from the Assam Rifles on how 718 Myanmar nationals were allowed to enter India without proper travel documents this included 301 children the state government has ordered the Assam Rifles to push back the Myanmar nationals stating that it views the influx very seriously and it may have international ramifications more particularly in view of the ongoing law and order issues Reports also suggest that the state government is concerned whether arms and ammunitions have been brought along.